everybody, welcome to this week's Jimmy Dore Show. I've got a full crew. We're here with a hilarious comedian. You know him from his many appearances on Chelsea Lately, his own Comedy Central special, Conan O'Brien. He's here for you. Ryan Stout is here. Hi, Ryan. How are you? Hooray. Round of applause all around. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks for dressing up. You look nice fantastic. Nice live show. Yes. Next to him, hilarious comedian, the host of self, the Self-Help Comedy Hour podcast. Check it out. It's Ed Krasnick. Hi, Ed. How are you? A pleasure to be here, Jimmy. Thanks. I'm glad I could dress up for the show. Oh, I'm glad I'm you could dress up. working underground. Well, that was, and also I forgot to mention, uh, you might have seen that on The Sopranos, right? Correct? The Sopranos? Yes. That is correct. All right. <laughs> Next to just look confused. You know? Yes. Mm. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I it was. Next to him, hilarious comedian, former writer for The Daily Show, seventh place winner of the Robert De Niro Lookalike Contest. That was me. It is Steve Rosenfield. Hey, Steve, how are you? Great to be back in uh, Culver City. Culver City, it's where it all happens. And you know what just happened yesterday is Jeff Bezos, Bezos, the guy who owns Amazon.com, bought the Washington Post. Now, the Washington Post, one of the most celebrated newspapers been forever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, of course, the War Pentagon, Watergate scandal, have the, the Bernstein and Woodward, and the whole thing. What is your take on this? Yeah, I mean, it was all very important until the internet came out. And now it's a <laughs> worthless media, and he's going to get into that. Good for him. Great business move. Really top notch. But see now, I'm getting into uh, little portable music players. I think I'm going to get into those <laughs> now that those are. Gonna, I think they're going to come back. You're going to get into CDs? Yeah, yeah, yeah just uh, big, yeah. big moves. <laughs> Well, nice going, right now. Thank you. That's a good take. Ed, how do you feel? Is this going to be good or bad for? Uh, I'm looking forward to the investigative stories that will come out about uh, the latest books and electronic products. <laughs> That's mainly what I'm looking for because they're going to do some hard-hitting stories on those MP3 players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who wants the news on a gift card? <laughs> I do. And et cetera, whatever else you want to say about it. Headline of the Washington Post, Amazon's doing great as always. Yeah. I, get, I just got my news, I can get it tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. Headline <laughs> Washington Post, Amazon workers happier than you'd think. Steve, what, what is your take on the Jeff Bezos taking over Washington I think, Post? Uh, generally everything is getting worse. Yeah, <laughs> including newspapers? Uh, yes, newspapers, books. Yeah. Television, movies. Sure. That's why I stopped reading books. They have gotten worse. Yeah, they have gotten worse. Yeah, I just stick with strict, totally magazine articles for me. That's, good. That's it. Flip Remember board. paper? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Those were the days. Do you think they're getting worse, or do you think that there used to be like three books and one was good, and now there's a thousand books and one is good? Yeah, that's I the way it is. I agree with you. Yeah. I, I think that's happening. Yeah. yeah. There's well, just too much of everything. Yeah. We need to decelerate. That's what my whole pu platform is. Right after, <laughs> right after my book comes out, then we're gonna decelerate. Okay. All right, about calm that? it down. Right. Mike yeah. comes out, look for it next spring. We're gonna is that the name of your book, Calm It Down? Calm It Down. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break, America. Yeah. Take a break and stop yeah. writing books. We don't care about your dog yeah. named Buster. He doesn't need his own biography. It's too much. Ladies Take a Breather, that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, it's called Ladies Take a Breather. I would buy that breather. book. Now, I think it's going to work out great for the Washington Post. I mean, if Jeff Bezos just applies the business model he's used over at Amazon, I mean, in no time at all, uh, his papers are going to be being put together in huge warehouses by underpaid worker, non-union workers uh, in dead-end jobs. So let's, we have that to look forward to. Sounds like the United States of America. Sounds like the United <laughs> States of America. Yes, it does. You know, I don't know. So that's our reaction. You want to hear? I went to venerable newsman uh, Dan Rather. Let's hear what his reaction was to it. Holy online news, Batman. Okay, so oh. thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. How far out of the loop is Dan Rather? <laughs> Searching for a Batman let's, reference. Let's throw that's a current reference four. out for the kids. Wow. Uh, <laughs> holy show that was on in 1967. <laughs> they still make movies. Am I throwing to the Ovaltine thing now? <laughs> the Ovaltine What do we do? <laughs> Who's our sponsor? I love Ovaltine. I drink it all the time. All the time. 